Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Carolyn Stokes, author of Elephants Before Unicorns, Emotionally Intelligent HR Strategies to Save Your Company. Carolyn, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Are you ready to get started? I am ready. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writes in their book? My uh, most essential piece of advice, which I did take myself when writing the book, was to hire a book coach for a number of reasons. Number one, it's a lonely process. You can only have so many conversations with yourself to be able to determine whether or not you're doing something right or wrong. Um, A coach that has published or written, written and published uh, books and edited books for other people, they really, really know what makes a book jump off the pages and 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 to be able to engage the reader and for it to be attractive to a publisher etc we think as writers that we know what we're talking about because we're experts but the reality is that sometimes we're too close to it so uh, i ended up having three book coaches not because one was better than the other but i needed them for different reasons as i was approaching as i was approaching the process the original book coach i had was uh there really to help me uh get everything started And then the second book coach was very much focused on uh, the editing process and being able to help me get to the point on how to pitch it to the publisher. And then uh, when I had won the publisher, I then had uh, a book coach from my publisher and I had uh, and I had my own as well to be able to get get myself through uh, that that final phase of submitting the, the manuscript. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Time. <laughs> the the because we all want to get our uh, books published immediately, and we all think, "Oh, this book is is so ready for right now, and I want to get this book published now." And one of the things I decided or I wanted to do initially was to get it published by. Uh, Amazon to go down the self-publishing route, and I thought, no, Caroline, you've really got to try and try and publish it uh, through uh, a credible route because I want to be able to have this book uh, acknowledged uh, at, at, uh, by by a credible publisher. So uh, I went down the path of of doing that, but that was the hardest part because. I knew that I could do something with Amazon and get self-published within the week, no problem. Uh, but going down the part, going going down the process of getting a publisher and then getting the work published, that is time. And it was the hardest part because you're, you're chomping at the bit to get it done. And when you're working with a publisher, it takes a lot of time. And which publisher did you have going with? Entrepreneur Press. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Mm. So bearing in mind the book isn't coming out until September, the marketing strategy I'm using right now is working on my own podcast called The Emotionally Intelligent Recruiter. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes on with the channels that I have through social media, so that's on Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. Uh, I do a lot of writing for a variety of uh, media, from Thrive Global to Forbes to wherever, LinkedIn, and so there's a lot of content-oriented uh, marketing that I do. It, uh, it's kind of more along the lines of PR. Uh, 
at launch time, there's going to be courses that, that people can uh, go to that's going to be tying in with the book. That, I think, is absolutely essential because you get one dimension from the book. You get another dimension from uh, the podcast. You're going to get a much deeper dimension from uh, courses. And then ultimately, if the individual wants to have uh, a more integrated strategy for their organization or for the talent within their organization, they will go down the path of actually hiring me. So there are so many prongs to it uh, that is very time consuming. It's pretty expensive. Uh, and I, I think having all of those aspects is absolutely essential. It's essentially like guerrilla marketing where you're trying to hit every single thing. Yeah, it's and that's that's that that requires a lot of coordination, effort, focus, clarity, uh, and time. Again, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's 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 pretty much like that. And are there any specific strategies you're going to use right for the launch, or is everything kind of around the launch? If you know what I mean. Yeah, everything is going to be around the launch. There's going to be a lot happening with Entrepreneur Press. They're a fantastic, very a phenomenal uh, publishing partner to work with. I, I'm, I really feel like I struck gold with, with working with them because they're very, very active for a very small uh, magazine, not yeah, magazine publisher as well as online publisher as well as book publisher. They're pretty feisty and very driven, and I really appreciate their their feistiness and being able to 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 to, to get publicity on on the book through their media. Uh, so it's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, from speaking to events to online, uh, you name it, you've got to do it. And I think I, again, underestimated, I think we all underestimate what, what we think we need to do. Um, but, you know, all, I think all authors are a little bit crazy in that sense that we want to get something out there, which means that when we do, we've got to be able to push ourselves and uh, get uh, do, do the marketing behind it. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to ask you about your book, your favorite book. So what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Mm, I have a few, but the one I'm going to tell you about is uh, Radical Candor by Kim Scott. She's a former Googler. She reported to Sheryl Sandberg and uh, the book is, a, is, is Rad Radical Candor, which is a, a communications uh, methodology that she encourages people to use and it's through lots of trial and error through her doing a lot of work um, in corporate to understand what really is most effective and what what I appreciated of a sorry that was my dog shaking I'll start that again so what I appreciated about the book most of all was that it it was clear in its in the outset on how to communicate an idea, uh, how to uh, c communicate that to the audience. And she does a deep dive in all sorts of areas. It's a very HR-oriented book, but m most of all, it's a communications practice about radical candor instead of being obnoxiously aggressive or... Um, um, what was the other one uh, uh, in something about empathy and all sorts of other communication practices which which can which can help which basically help you fail uh, but radical candor if you have that within your whole organization that is a way that uh, can help organizations thrive and what I learned from that uh, most of all is that the, the, the market is ready for books like hers books like mine uh, the uh, uh, elephants before unicorns and whereby people are able to think about how communication practices are so important to ensure that organizations can can evolve and thrive and develop so that's that's my favorite book and that's what i learned from it and for a final question what is your favorite quote and why this is the shortest quote in history, probably, <laughs> and it's also probably one of the oldest. Uh, it comes from, uh, I think it's 25 BC, so that's going back, you know, good, good two, two, 2,000 plus years, and it is carpe diem, seize the day, and too often I find that 
I like to be able to use that model every single day, seize the day. There are times when I just don't have the energy for it and I think, okay, tomorrow I will seize the day or let me just seize some particular aspect that is going to help me uh, move forward in this. But that's been my favorite probably for 20 plus years. Uh, and when, when, when you asked me that question, I was like, yeah, that's still my favorite. <laughs> Excellent. I was thinking Dead Post Society immediately when you said it. Oh, Robin Williams. Bless. Yes. Well, Carolyn, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Thank you. Well, it's been lovely, lovely being with you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. So the best way for people to get hold of me online is to Google me, which is Caroline Stokes, and you'll find my company forward, my LinkedIn profile, and my Twitter. So you can you can find me and decide uh, what what information you'd like. Thank you so much. Well, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 